This is another important lesson for Math Pace 1077, and this is about subtracting signed numbers, and I'm also going to talk about multiplying and dividing. So we're going to cover a couple of lessons in this one video because the second part's really easy. But remember, subtraction is actually fairly easy as well. So here's the rule I encourage my students to just memorize, okay? I've tried to simplify it. The Pace makes a five-step process out of it and adds a lot of words that are, are necessary for a mathematician to use correctly. But as far as seventh graders, all you need to do is change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. Now, I used to just, I used to have this worded differently and not emphasize that word and, and too many students would change subtraction to addition and stop. And that does not give you the right answer. So it's actually a two-step process, but it's fairly easy. Well, you change the subtraction to addition and you change the second number to its opposite. So let's say that with me. Change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. One more time. Change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. Let me illustrate that, and then we're going to remind you again about those rules that I want you to memorize for addition. So this becomes 16. We're going to change subtraction to adding. Change the second number to its opposite. So instead of negative 4, it becomes positive 4. Now I can add. They're both positive, and so add and keep the common sign. So we get 20. Negative 13 minus 5 becomes negative 13. We keep that the same. Change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. So right now, this is positive 5, okay? Negative 13 minus 5. If there's no sign written, we assume it's positive, okay? So this is positive 5. I'm going to change it and make it negative 5. So this is exactly the same problem. I've just changed it from subtraction to addition. The second number is its opposite. And again, I apply the same rule. Add and keep the common sign. We get negative 18. Let's walk our way through this last one. Here I have subtraction, and the next number is a negative number. So this becomes negative 18. We don't change the first one. Change subtraction to addition. Change the second number, negative 4, to its opposite, which is positive 4. And now, do you remember the rule for adding when the signs are different? Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Subtract 4 from 18, so we get 14. And then 18 is bigger than 4, so we're going to keep the negative sign from the 18. And the answer becomes negative 14. Now, wasn't that easy? Okay. Let's talk about multiplying and dividing now. And multiplying and dividing is really easy. Now, it's totally different rules. This is where most students get confused. They try to mix up the rules with addition and subtraction and the rules with multiplying and dividing. And that's where you'll make your mistake. Um, we just have to totally memorize them, keep it separate. If we're multiplying and both numbers are positive, 3 times 5, the answer is positive 15. If they were both negative, negative 3 times negative 5, guess what? The answer is positive 15. If one of these is negative, negative 6 times negative 3, then the answer is going to be negative. So if the signs are different between these two factors, we don't think about which is smaller, which is greater, all of that. That's the rule for addition. For multiplying and dividing, it's only this. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative, and you just multiply. 3 times 5 is still 15. 6 times 3 is still 18. Let's do 4 times negative 6. All right? So we're multiplying 4 times negative 6, we get 24, and so the answer is negative 24. The same works for division. So let's say I have negative 24 divided by positive 3. We're, we're dividing, the answer I know is going to be 8, but because one's negative, one's positive, then the answer has to be negative. All right? 
If I have negative um, 12 divided by negative 4, all right, we know the answer is 3, but since the signs here are the same, negative 12, negative 4, then that means the answer is positive. So if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Signs are different, the answer is negative. Take a mental picture of this, all right? Take a picture of this with your brain, close your eyes, focus on it, and then try to repeat it and just memorize it. And the more you can regurgitate it and use it and be confident with it, the better you'll do. Let's say the rule for subtraction again. Change subtraction to addition and change the second number to its opposite. Let's review the rules for adding. Adding when the signs are the same, ready? Adding when the signs are the same, add and keep the common sign. Let's review the rule for adding when the signs are different. Adding when the signs are different, subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. The rules for multiplying and dividing. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. All right, hopefully that helps. Short lesson, but that hopefully will clear up some of the confusion in this section, and that should get you ready to do the first checkup.